Hello everybody, it is Igor from Russia from St. Petersburg and I'm learning English through comedians videos and I want to improve my comprehension skills and today we have one big challenge. So what will it be? It will be watching video of Bill Burr. Bill Burr it is one of the comedians and this video will be without subtitles. It will be a really good challenge because uh, can I understand what he will say or not, we will know, and my comprehension skill will be improved if I will understand it, and if I will laugh, it will be really so, oh Jesus Christ, it is so interesting, and uh, yes, I will try to understand it, uh, sorry if I will not understand, but uh, it is my job, and after that story, I will retell the story, how did I understand it, uh, it, it is one of the reasons to watch it to the end, yes, thanks so much, and let's start it, I will do this educational work. No, we have these huge battles, you know what the maddest she ever got me was? One time she was watching this show, it was like a poor excuse for the view, and they started talking about domestic violence, right? For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence, just in case, you know, you didn't get the memo, you know? <laughs> Evidently, you know, just some people Domestic violence. Domestic violence is uh, right now big problem in Russia. Not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers <laughs> because she didn't dry the can opener off properly, you know? <laughs> it's gonna fucking rust, right? How do you not know not to do that shit? Do they really have to keep talking about it? Uh, who, who, it's like wife beaters watching for, oh, fuck, ah! Now I get it, up to Daisy, sweetheart, here we go. There you go, oh. So at the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. You can wake me from a drunken stupor, I could still give you like nine. Dude, there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. But to sit there and suggest that there's no reason. Dude, the level of ego behind that statement. What are you, levitating above the rest of us? You're never annoying? Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? There you go. Every day. You didn't do it, right? Oh, dude, it drives me nuts. There's no reason. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce papers, you gotta move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that she's gonna stay in. No reason. <laughs> I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons in that arc of a story. <laughs> All right, that was a hypothetical. <laughs> you want an actual story? I'll give you one, I'll give you one. All right, I fucked up my foot playing drums, trying to get my bass drum foot as fast as uh, John Bonham's, because I figure that's a good thing to focus on. 43 years of age, never married, no kids. I figure this, this is gonna lead me to the light, right? This, this, this is what I need to do. <laughs> So I don't know what I did. I, I felt like after I, I played for like an hour and afterwards, I felt like a, literally like there was some midget stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? Like I had lightning coming out of the bottom of my foot. So I did the typical guy thing. I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'll sleep it off. I'll be fine, right? Next morning I wake up, my foot's even worse. And I got to walk my crazy dog. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't do it. My foot's killing me. So I wake up, my girl go, sweetheart, sweetheart, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can, can you walk the dog for me? Can you uh, just take the shift? You know, I'll do your afternoon shift. Can you just do me this song? Can you do this for me? And she's just like, oh. You know, I had a late, late night last night. I'm tired. I have a big day. And I just go, fuck it. <laughs> she goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, why can't you just say no? Why do you always got to, like, waterboard me with, like, a 20-minute explanation that eventually winds its way around to go, fuck yourself. Just say no. So I'm just limping out of the room. Whatever, go back to bed. You got a big day, right? So now I'm like limping down the street. I got like Tourette's, fuck, goddamn bullshit. Dogs walking next to me. And I gotta admit, I got a little childish. I did, I got a little childish, you know? I was just thinking about my relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in? You're just gonna do whatever the hell you wanna do, right? And fuck me? 
fine. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to do. I feel like listening to my iPod on full blast, walking around the house. That's what I'm going to do. So that's what I did. Turned it all the way up, and I just, I, my whole plan was just to walk by her like I didn't even know her. That was it. She came down the hall. I just ghosted her. Just walked right past her. <laughs> just trying to piss her off. And I got to tell you something. Work like a charm. <laughs> work like a charm. A charm. Yeah. Hung my coat up. Turned. It, it is a person who, man, manager, HR manager, yes? Turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. But the music was so loud, not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song that I was listening to. Oh, it's one of the highlights of the relationship. So I knew what she was saying. I was like, whatever, I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. I'm going on to the computer, right? So I limp over and I sit down, and unbeknownst to me, she's like, no, we're going to talk about this right now. Comes out, poo, and slaps the headphones off my head. I got a big, I got big ears. It fucking hurt. So I'm like, honey, leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. Put the headphones back on. She comes right back up again. Poof, slaps them off a little harder. This time they spin halfway around my head. <laughs> Caveman DNA starts coming up, talking through my teeth. Honey, leave me alone. Don't want to talk about it, right? Put them on third time. She comes up, poof, slaps them right across the room, and I snap. I'm like, fine. You want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. <laughs> She's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. <laughs> oh, right there. I just wanted to roll her up on her yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. Just leave her there till she got thirsty. Come on, let me out of here. I have a spin class. You've made your point. One moment, uh, he said like, uh, she said, uh, when you are calm down, you, we will discuss about it. Yes. And after that, uh, she, uh, he should uh, do yoga classes. Yes. Uh, one moment, I will do this again. We will discuss this later when you calm down. You want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. She's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. <laughs> oh, right there. I just wanted to roll her up on her yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. <laughs> just leave her there till she got thirsty. Come on, let me out of here. I, I have a spin class. You've made your point. This is, this is ridiculous. No, that's the thing. Really is, that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. <laughs> when you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. If you say there's no reason, whoo, you cut out the buildup, you just left with the act. How are you going to solve it if you don't figure it out? Look how awkward it is in here right now. <laughs> I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? Why is that? What is that? What, is, what does answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special during the bit and you're like walking around like I'm not fucking taping a special here? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Fucking had to ignore all of that and now you're gonna like yell out? And not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever? Answer him! Answer him! Every fucking special I do, there's always one! <laughs> always, right down the fucking middle. Talking about hitting women, sweetheart. And I think you just added another reason. Jesus fucking Christ. You love this, I'm not even in a relationship with her and she's fucking nagging me. Fucking unbelievable. <laughs> Look, I understand hitting a woman's a bad thing, okay? Well, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I get bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? All right? How did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you fucking with it? How did this snake get so mad? It almost killed you. Firemen put out a fire, they don't just drive away afterwards, they sift through the debris. How did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. I realize that. Let me extend an olive branch then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tuna casserole, and just start swinging, all right? I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. 
I realize they exist. They should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? <laughs> really? Even hockey has two minutes for instigating, right? <laughs> they understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you know? You know what it is? It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude, in your heart of hearts, what do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baston Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? And he fucking, ah! Or do you think maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said? Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker. <laughs> right? To be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue, do you keep those in the glove box? Oh my God, I'll bring my own. Now oh, fuck that, because you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think is a core of a lot of that shit. You know, and I gotta tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued, but after 20 years of losing every significant battle <laughs> in a relationship, I finally figured out how they argued. And I'm gonna tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> I have begun a winning tradition. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right, if they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right, no problem with that, totally respect it. But here's the thing, if they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about, maybe you don't get along with your dad, and in their head they just start concocting this evil statement. <laughs> totally designed, this desperate Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt. That's what it is. And cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that one, that's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it, you're in this room now, right? <laughs> my girl knows my big thing is, my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old, you know, grows old alone, has like that basement apartment, just screaming up at the younger couple, turn it down! That isn't music! So I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, out of nowhere, she'd just be like, well, that's why you're just gonna grow old and be alone. Then I'd, I'd lose my shit. <laughs> the next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right, what happened? <laughs> so if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, just know this, next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere, okay? You're winning and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? All right, don't get mad. Bob and weave, slip all of that shit. Maybe because yeah, you got a little dick, just let that slide, stay in the pocket of the argument. Okay, it's over. The argument is over, you've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock, all right? Yes, lean on the ropes, let them punch themselves out, and then in the end, you throw this psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. Again. And they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. Rub one out like a man. It's the champagne of victory. Okay, I, I understood half of these stories. Thanks a lot for him. And right now I will retell what did I understand. Sorry if I will say it wrong, but uh, okay. Firstly, firstly he was speaking about that uh, in the our world there are no reason to hit uh, to hit a woman. But uh, he he gave evidence that we have uh, reasons to do this and after that uh, story uh, story starts story started story started from story about headphones they uh, ah no about uh, that she was l she 
was lying on a bed, yes, on a bed, and uh, she was lying like uh, something, and uh, he wanted to ask something from her, and uh, he didn't, uh, didn't, uh, didn't get, uh, didn't get answer about uh, yes or no, and he only, he only get, get uh, he only got uh, answer like. Uh, all day or something like a big day yes and uh, nothing about no nothing about yes uh, for uh, it was like a, your uh, your question for example it is is it is it uh, is it uh, for example is it werewolf and uh, answer w w would be like a Yes, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, but if we will learn about Chronics of Narnia, and after that we will learn about wallpaper and color, and color were silver, and so we can maybe do guessing and uh, something else. Uh, it is not like a answer. And he was uh, mad about this situation that... Uh, it was example, example about werewolf. Uh, it is analogy of this situation, and uh, he didn't uh, get answer. And after that, he was uh, mad. And uh, one more, uh, how he wanted to smash the battle and to win the the war. He to he were. Uh, were on uh, and turn on uh, headphones uh, on mp3 uh, mp3 player and uh, was listening music uh, with high volume and uh, nothing else we were uh, we were around and all was like a lip sync lip sync of uh, per of this woman uh, of his wife or girl girlfriend and uh, he was listening music and uh, she was speaking and he didn't uh, understood uh, even one word from her only lip sync of it like a like this yes and uh, only music on this and she tried to punch him to uh, slap him to and uh, first attempt was after that second attempt and nothing after that uh, was i did it as uh, next because my english comprehension not was not good but next was about that uh, they were arguing and uh, she said after the situation of uh, this punch that uh, she is right and you should come down and after that we will discuss yes and after that he was joking about uh, that i should do yoga classes that i should do exercises breath exercises like <laughs> or something like this and uh, after that, I didn't understand uh, two minutes and a half about some talk I didn't understand really. And uh, last talk was about... Uh, I don't remember fully, but it was one moment. How did it happen? Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. I'm trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist. They should be buried underneath the prison. It happened before that shit, you, you know? After that was interactive, uh, interactive moment with, uh, with, uh, with audience. Maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight, and some crazy shit was being said. What it is, they never address how women argue, which I think is the core of a lot of that shit. You know, and I gotta tell you something, man. Like I. Ah, and uh, last. Last moment of this stand-up was about arguing between uh, man and woman, and uh, it was about uh, uh, that she is trying. She tries to make ma to make she tries to make man mad and nervous to do her uh, attack. Because she's trying to do reason 
to 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 make herself victim herself victim like uh, if he will say can't can't it is uh, not good this uh, vulgar word for girl uh, he she will have advantages of it and after that she will be queen and she she tries to do situations to to sp- uh, that that he will say can't to her or something else uh, not good word yes did you understand i hope yes another stories i did understand if you can help me please write in the comment section what did you understand from this story if you are not native if you are native please write me 100 percent what what this story about what this story was about and it will be really helpful to me i am trying to learn english and i want to say that i understood 40 percent of story correct 30 it is good result it is not really a sphere it is not real talk what i uh, it is not direction of uh, speaking that i understood cor- understanding correct and uh, my level of co- comprehension is good but i can improve it if i will listen every day and every moment and will do work with my mistakes and uh, I want to say that my level of comprehension in business skills uh, and in business talk, entrepreneur talk is good. My level. But in this sphere of talking, I, I'm not good enough. But I will, pr- I, will, I will correct it. Yes. Thanks so much for watching. It was Igor from St. Petersburg. I'm a Russian man who learns English and I continue my I will continue my journey and you can help me t- with your support. Thanks. See ya. Bye bye. You know that all depends on you and you can improve your skills too.